Good morning. My room is so cozy this morning. I need to open the blinds because someone's gonna be here in a minute. I've gotta do something for my dad. Such a nice day outside. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. I don't even know what the time is. I think it's like 8.30. I woke up uh, still with a sore throat. I woke up at six with a sore throat, went back to sleep, woke up at 8.30. Still felt it a bit, but it was better. And now I've started talking, it's, uh, yeah, it's back. Bit of a blocked nose, but we're not gonna complain because the weather's amazing. We've got some plans today and I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna go get a cup of coffee and probably read my book. Coffee is my favorite time of the day, I think. I don't even care if that's sad. I think it's a lot of people's favorite time of the day. I'm sweating in this jumper, but I was not putting on that t-shirt. If you saw yesterday's vlog, I pretty much was, when I was editing it, I realized like how, uh, how much I was in that t-shirt and yeah, I couldn't put it back on. So I actually, normally we have these, the Nespresso pods. I watched uh, a YouTuber, a YouTuber. I watched a YouTuber that I like watching and she had these. It's like a Shoreditch, it's a local brand of coffee. Uh, founded in Shoreditch in 2011, our baristas now serve over a million coffees a year from our locations across London. This coffee, the coffee pods, this coffee in our pods is ethically sourced from sustainable farms around the world. Um, yeah, so they're compostable, which, you know, is a plus. They taste so good. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I also just love, like you can buy these online, refillable for your little tin. I actually just bought, um, cause at school I have a filter, a filter um coffee maker traditional american like you know in the movies or in the tv shows when you see um in police stations they have uh like a a filter coffee where they just put the jug up and keep filling their coffee all day that's a filter coffee maker and with that you need coffee grounds so i bought this i bought coffee grounds from this brand so i'm very excited to try that No way, no way that just happened. Oh my gosh. I fully did that as a joke and it just went in. So, I told you today is gonna be a good day. Also my hair is just crazy right now. I, I, need, I need to go and get it cut. And I also need to put like a mask in it or something because it's like, it's so long and it's just like frizzy. I don't know. You guys know the drill. It's gone everywhere. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. I'm just I'm in my workout clothes. I'm about to do a little cycle. Now I know yesterday I was like, I definitely overdid it with the exercise, which is why I woke up with a sore throat. Um, I'm just planning on doing a 20 minute spin of my legs. It's like a sauna in this room though. It's like a sunroom, so it traps the heat. Anyway, I'm gonna get connected, set it up here. I look like an egg once again this is definitely too low for me uh, and then I have a task to do today 
outside. Why does that sound so shaky? I have a task to do outside today, which um, I'm not nervous about it, but it's going to be hit or miss. It's going to be interesting. Is that going to be good? I think that's good. Right, I'll see you after this. See how red I am. It's been about not even five minutes since that last clip. The Watt bike, I don't know how to work it. It keeps changing gear to an impossibly hard gear. Uh, so I'm literally pedaling. I'm out of breath because I'll tell you why. I'm pedaling at like fourth or fifth gear and all of a sudden after 20 seconds, it goes so hard that I have to stand up to even be able to push the pedal down. So like, I don't even know what was going on with that, but it's so freaking annoying. I tried three different cycles, two just start, one workout and one, like, I think it was Tour de France, like the flat part. So I might obviously take that as a sign, I'm not feeling too well. And I'm just gonna get on with the task that I had to do outside. Anyway, that's life. There's just curveballs wherever you turn, but it's how you deal with them. Mindset, guys. Let's put these pots away, actually. Yesterday's vlog is currently uploading for you to watch today. It's a little slow. Actually, it's not that bad. 54% uploaded. That's actually very good. I'll take that back. We'll see you when we start the task outside. Wish me luck. Just quickly before I go outside, I'm packaging some more vintage stuff up. And I have these sweaty Betty leggings that are in really good condition. But I wore them as a kid. Like, every day. After school sports, my mum got me these. And I'd wear these under my little skirt. And it's time to say goodbye to my name my name tag so the job that I've been tasked with is to wash the windows at the top one small problem, that's not that small actually, is that window, I'm struggling to get it shut. It's automatic in there, but it won't close. The others will, but that one won't. So I'm gonna work my way around it. But yeah, so first I've got to hose it all off. And then, Scrub it with that long extendable brush and then hose it off again. And then I've got to clean the gutters out, which, oh, I don't know, which is what the brush in there is for. So let's go. Back out of the laundry. 
because I'm still in those clothes I was cleaning the windows with. I've got to run over to the dentist to get a £50 deposit back. So I was supposed to have my wisdom teeth out last Friday. And I, long story short, I decided not to. So I've got to go get the deposit back, which I put down to have the operation. So I'm back in my shark shirt. Smell of anything. Surely it's easier just to go through the hole. Oh no. Megan? And set a light to the thing. Doesn't that think you like that's such a waste of a match? Do you ever think that? No. Because you've got that whole twig left. Yeah, but the top bit. Megan, you're filming the floor. No, I'm not. Some of the candles. What, you want that? Yeah, well, <laughs> I put the vlog up, by the way. Oh, God. That, that is a bit of a fail, isn't it? I thought that would be brighter. How romantic. It's all right. I'm doing a taste test of my pina colada. Megan went DIY with her drink. Yeah, I've got a, an added passion fruit in it. Here's one I made earlier. This is so English of me. I haven't had this since probably last summer. Mm. Is it's it good? Hot. Yeah, well, actually. Don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at do you, all. Do you not like pina coladas? I don't like coconut. Oh my god. Did you, I said to him, did you put the onions in? I thought he'd put them in a separate bag. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? I thought you went onion rings. You just gave me two onions. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Do you like nipples? Do you know like breast implants? <laughs> they do actually. Although, I don't know who's having their boobs enlarged to that size. That's a reduction. <laughs> Reminds me of my old work passion fruits because I was just yeah. steal them. Yeah. Should that be like that? <laughs> yeah. But on your How do you pour it at work? Do you do this? No, I don't do it like that. Should I try? Apparently, good wine's meant to stay in your hand. 
it much. What do you mean? Like if you pour it, good wine stains your hand. Stain? Yeah. Shall we try? Are you sure? Yeah. Well, this is just shit then, isn't it? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Looks it does taste something. good, but it does look a bit like not full. You want to try it? You don't like wine. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to make the mistake I did at Bedford. I'm not going to start with all the chips. Why? I got way too full. Oh. Yeah, but the burger wasn't exactly nice. Yeah, I had the worst burger of my entire life. This fish looks so awful. What do you mean? Do you not want a fork? No? Caveman? I grew up eating fish and chips on the side of the road. Well, my mum and dad were at the pub in Weymouth. <laughs> and I was. <laughs> this looks so bad. Oh. That's not safe. I don't think they're meant to have those in there. No, they're not. Anyway. Mmm. You can try it. So mm. good. Hello, everyone. Ellen is inside, so I thought I'd give a little message. Say fuck you. Oh. Has it done it? Yeah. So Dad just brought out. Good evening. A nice little spread. And we got a bit cold. Uh, blanket. Oh, fuck. Dig it. Best ice cream ever. No, I disagree. Ben and chocolate. Hagen Dash. Ben and Jerry's is so much better. Oh, true. No. Fish food, Ben and Jerry's. Mm. Ooh. Slaps. What with? The marshmallow. Oh, it's so good. Gummy bears. No, it's not got gummy it bears in it. Hey, vlog. This is just a message for Jonah. If you're not Jonah, skip this bet. Your wife's her. Um, no, that was not what I was expecting to say. <laughs> yeah. Any last words? Say you're an asshole. You're an asshole, Jonah. No, say you're an asshole. Oh, uh, my favourite football team's Arsenal. Hope that's okay. Good night, guys. My friends are texting me. Oh, shit. Well, my friends is back in Florida, and I didn't realize. Anyway, um, it's been a very up and down day, but hey, that is life. I don't know if you can tell from my eyes, but some tears were shed, and then my friend came over. As you just saw, I love Megan. We had a few drinks, well, she had one or two, and then she drove home. I had a few glasses of wine, um, fish and chips, some ice cream, and just had a really lovely evening. I needed it, I, I really needed it, and Megan is a real one. I literally texted her, and within an hour and a half, she left what she was doing, and she came over, and I had... I really enjoyed it. We were just vibing to music and chatting about old times. Megan and I have been to school together since we were sev six or seven. And we were swimming together since we were three years old. But yeah, I'm literally just in bed. Oh, this one's my charger in my phone. Watching some YouTube and I'm gonna go to sleep. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this daily vlogging thing in the comments below. And well, on this note, I just want to say like, life is too short to worry about what people think of you. And if you're struggling, reach out to people. And there's always someone that cares about you. And yeah, just surround yourself by good people. Put time into friendships. And don't dwell on things that haven't yet happened. If you worry about something before it's happened, 
you suffer twice. You suffer in the worrying and then in the actual then. So, yeah, on that note, I've got a cup of tea, which I'm sipping on. And yeah, I'm all tucked up in bed. I need to change out of this shirt actually and put my pajama top on. But yeah, comment down below if you're enjoying the daily vlogs and let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. We're so close to a thousand subscribers, which is crazy even for me to be saying. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.